Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And today we're with the 1972 Honda CB350. Four. Yes, one, two, three, four. This is the first time this guy's been on the channel. It's been relegated to the corner for quite some time. And today we're gonna try to get it running for the first time in a while. I know it needs a couple of things. I think we have to bleed the brakes. We have to put a battery in it, which I have. And then we gotta put some gas in it, see if it runs. It, it definitely ran when parked. So, but it's been set, sitting up for quite a while. So sit back, enjoy this little beauty and we'll take it for a run. Fingers crossed, we'll take it for a run. Okay, let's get in here behind this battery cover. I know there's no battery, so we know we need one of those, which the good thing is I happen to have one here like a magician. So let me tell you kind of the, the story of this, this little Honda CB354 and how we ended up with it and kind of everything about it. So ended up being my old friend, uh, my old friend uh, Howard, uh, I've talked about a couple of times. I called him Yoda. And he was super generous with his time and everything. And he wouldn't let me, he wouldn't let me pay him for motorcycles, right? So he, he said, he, he had 100 plus motorcycles in different states of disrepair. And one day I said, hey, we need to have a conversation because you have some motorcycles that I'm interested in. We need to come up with a, a number that works for you. And so I can buy them. He goes, I typically don't sell them. I just give them to people I like. So the next time you come, say, he said, just bring a roll of tape and put your name on the ones that you want. And that to me just blew my mind. But he wouldn't let me pay him for anything but I could give him stuff. I could give him a motorcycle. And so I, one day I asked him, I said, what's the one motorcycle that you wish you uh, owned, but you never had? And he said, a Honda CB354. So I set out on a hunt to find him a Honda CB354. And you have to know this guy, he doesn't want one that he doesn't have to fix, right? He wanted to do the work on it. He wanted to be the one to bring it back to life. And I found a, a pair of them in Jacksonville, Florida. Like I mentioned before, a pair of them in Jacksonville, Florida, we loaded them up. It was in a state of disrepair. So what I mean by that is the guy started down the road and uh, was in over his head. So it came with loads of parts, pieces and parts and all this stuff. And what we found out, if we undid everything the guy did, we got it to work. What I mean by that is we had, they had the boxes of the carb kits in, uh, in the pack of parts. And what we found is he, in, he put every single float needle in upside down. So wonder why he was having fueling problems. And the valves were set in correctly. Everything was just off. We, we went through and did that, things started right up. And then when he uh, passed away, it moved back over here. It's not perfect. You can see it's, it's definitely faded on top. It's super dirty. It's been laying in the corner. It's sun faded. We've had to, uh, to do some work. It needs some love, which is what we're going to give. I need a new headlight bucket for it. That one's cracked and just all kinds of stuff that need, need to happen on it. It finally needs the, the care and concern that, that it, it should, that it deserves, put it that way. So that's what we're going to spend some time on. Not today. Today is the day that we just see if we can get it running for the first time in probably a year, maybe a little longer. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. It hadn't been ridden since Carrie got the Hondamatic. This little 354 is the bike that Carrie rode. It's the one until she got the Hondamatic, and then it's been kind of relegated to the corner. I have a near perfect uh, green tank that I'd love to find the uh, side covers and the fork ears and the fork covers here. This bike originally came with green fork ears, but everything else was red. So I was like, crap, do I go and change everything back to green or do I 
just replace the red ones, find some red ones. And that's what I did. And then I, I moved those red, those green ones on. And then now I end up with a, a brand new, a perfect, near perfect green tank without the, the fork gears and everything else. So I'd love to be able to source all that and turn this thing to back to its original state that I believe it came in. So we got the battery installed. Uh, we can put some fuel in it and let's see what happens. Let's see. Ignition on, fuel on, choke on. Come on. It's gotta come to life. It's good now. Let me turn the choke off. This thing hasn't ran in over a year. Put a battery in it, put fuel in it. It's a champ. Now, it needs some stuff, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I can't remember exactly what it needs, but we'll take it for a little quick ride to see and make a list of things to do in the future. It, it is a big bit of a uh, smoker. Not a pack a day, but it does smoke a little bit. So it may need, may need some top end work long term, but let me put a helmet on, let's go for a ride. Guys, I don't know if this stuff works, but I just use it, right? So especially this thing hadn't been ridden in a while, the carbs probably gonna need to be cleaned. And I put a good bit in. So, it can't hurt, right? Let me know in the comments down below. How many guys use sea foam or something like it in your motorcycles?
night trip. <laughs> Got my little drop axle locked up. Got my ride height established. Gotta weld that out. And this thing started off life as this. Yeah, it was a regular mold. Sabre. <laughs> It wasn't running, but everything yeah. was there, and I was like, you know, I could fix and sell it, but yeah, no, you know, this is way more fun. So yeah, satisfied by the 14 year old <laughs> in Montana doing 60 miles an hour in the snow on this thing. That's awesome. Okay, guys, there you have it our 1972 Honda CB354. That hasn't been ridden in well over a year. We put battery in it and a gas on it, gas in it, and it just does what it does. This thing is so awesome. It needs a little work. I'm in the market for a slightly used Honda CB354 emblem. But this guy, really, really good, man. We're gonna go through and give it the, you know, the normal maintenance treatment. We'll change the oil, we'll uh, timing valves, cam chain, we'll clean the carbs, we'll do everything on it just to make it solid. As of right now, it's super solid. It's good. It breaks up a little bit around that 4,500, 5,500 RPM. It breaks up a little bit. So I think a good carb cleaning and we'll, we'll knock it out. The rest of it, we may, we'll probably clean up the, uh, the frame, you know, do some cosmetic light restoration on it we'll look for another headlight bucket just so we can replace that one that's busted and uh i did realize that i got a i'm missing a, a, a nut here so we'll fix that again you got to ride them so you can figure out what you need to fix on them and we'll just gradually clean this sucker up make it look good you know that's where we are so guys there you have it our 1972 honda cb354 that sounds just amazing and Thanks for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. Do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind and hit that, that subscribe button. And while you're in the subscribing mood, go ahead and wander on over to our friends, Brickhouse Builds, Moto Mango, Gold Guy, Ace Cafe Bikes, Mile Zero Racers, and Plan B Motos. And I want to take a moment to thank our sponsors for our ride to the Rockies. We have Expert Mindset. <clears throat> we have Van True. Pete's Classic Cycles, and Moto Mango. So guys, give them a follow. Look them up. They're supporting us, so do what you can to support them. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.